My name's Starla, and to find me on the web, simply type in Starla's Candle Making into any search engine and click on the link that you find there. Today I'm going to paint snowmen on grubby hang tags, which have been stained with coffee to give them an aged look. And the first thing that I want to do is give the snowmen a base for them to stand on, ah, or sit on. So I'm going to take watercolor, half my brush is loaded with blue, the other half with white, and I'm simply going to paint a swatch across the bottom here, and that'll give them a little face to sit on. I'm going to do a few of these tags. Now that we have some bases for the snowmen to sit on, I'm going to paint their bodies. This is simply done with some ivory paint. And remember when you're doing a folk art, it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, we're going to put on a scarf. We're going to take a little bit of Napa Red on a brush and just swish it across the neck, swish down, and that's the scarf. Next, we want to add some arms to the snowman. We just loaded the brush with some burnt umber, very wet. And I should have done the scarf second, but I didn't. And I really want the red over top of that. I'm just going to come back, pull it down, give the illusion that the scarf's over top. You also might want to add a tree trunk now so we can fill in with a pine later. This is just burnt umber and black. See, that's a huge mistake, and I'm just going to fix it by putting a pine tree there. And what I've got is a dry brush, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the blue, the green, and the yellow, all in the same brush. I'm going to take off most of the paint and then just dab. And I will have a Charlie Brown tree. See how easy that is? Let me do another one. Let me do the one I messed up here. I'm getting some green, yellow, a little bit of blue. And there I have it. Now 
Ah, the camera shut off at some point when I was making these snowmen and trying to show you how to do that. So even though this one is finished, I'm going to go back and redo the steps after putting on the pine tray. And what I'm going to do is take some black and use this tool because I can get nice round dots with it. I'm going to use the small end, load it up with the black, and just dot, dot for the eyes, dot, dot, dot for the little buttons. That's that. And then I'm using some, uh, what is this, orange, just orange, acrylic orange, for the nose. Put a little bit out there. And I take the smallest brush I have, which is this little guy, and I just load it up with orange. I'm going to show you here, because I've already got his nose done, I'm just going to show you on the paper how I do it. Load it up with orange push and pull, push and pull, and that'll give you a nice snowman nose. Then the final step is to take the Deco Extra Fine paint pen. Get this paint out of the road there. And with it, I just go around the edges and give it a border. These are just little dashes. It's an added extra something. And people really seem to like it. And it's cute. And I like cute things. The other thing I wanted to say about painting the snowmen or the pears or the flowers or the houses, which I don't think I have you up yet. Up yet. Oh gosh, can't talk today. Um, is you can do this and use it in scrapbooking too. There's nothing that says you have to put it on a hang tag. So here are all the little snowmen that I did yesterday. Some have the little borders, some don't. And what's really interesting that I like to do with snowmen, which I can't show you here, because it makes a bit of a mess, I usually do it outside, is you'll notice how these are speckled. And the way you do this is you use a brush that's sort of beat up, like this one is, and you take and water down some ivory into a um, well, almost liquid form, but not quite. Let me see. Oops, that's not going to work. Forgot to shake it up. And then you would load a lot of water on that. Load your paintbrush up. I can use this for the water. And I'm going to do just a demonstration here, but nothing because this really splatters. And what you would do is hold it over top, up a little bit higher. Oh, let's see, that's too much. You have to make sure you get the right amount. And then just hit it like this. I don't have enough on there. And I'm trying not to hit it too hard because I don't want it to splatter the camera. But you can see how it's dropping. And that'll give your snowmen a nice look of snowflakes. Which is really nice. easier to do it outside when you're not afraid of having everything in your house speckled, which apparently I'm getting things speckled, so I quit. Okay, and that's the end of the snowman demonstration.